Hello and welcome to the channel. Now today we're going to talk about hitting the standard chip shot. There are five key factors that must be in place to make sure we strike this golf ball exactly how we want to. The first thing you're going to do when you're chipping around the greens is you're going to grip down on the club. And the reason you're going to grip down on the club is it because it gives you more control. We don't need power around the green, we need control. Number two, because we've gripped down on this club, we create an excess of grip here. And what can happen is, especially in the winter months when you're wearing more clothes, is this can get tangled up in your clothes and also it's difficult to get our hips out of the way. So how we combat this is we open up the hips towards our target, so they're pointing left of target and then it clears more space for me to be able to deliver that club to the ball. Number three, we need to get a little bit more weight onto our lead side. And the easiest way to do this is to stand with your feet of 50-50 and to slide your left hand down until it touches the very top of your knee. And that is the sort of pressure that we want to see. So somewhere between 55 and 60% of your weight sits on your lead foot. What this does is it allows us to create a steeper angle of attack into the back of the golf ball. Number four, you must never ever decelerate. Always be positive with these shots. I would prefer you to have a shorter backswing and a longer follow through than a long backswing and slow down into the golf ball. Because if we swing the club really long and we feel like we're gonna hit it too hard, subconsciously, you're gonna slow down into impact and then that will affect how you actually strike the golf ball. And finally, number five, is we need to pick a landing spot. That's so important. Depending on the distance and depending on the club that you're using, you need to pick a landing spot. And then your practice swings are to try and imagine landing that ball in that landing spot. Here's a big landing spot. Now, if you haven't got the opportunity to whip a big round towel out of your bag, then you can actually do this with tees or something else visual that you can see on that green and the key to picking a landing spot is we become more consistent i hope you've enjoyed this video go out there use those five tips to improve your chipping today